for your grace, your mercy, your favor upon my life. I am in your presence. Give me the grace to remain in your presence by your word and your spirit in Jesus Christ's name. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 44. I don't know how to call this one. Christ is a new life in you. Before Christ, there was nothing like eternal life. There was nothing like forgiveness. There was nothing like spiritual life. He's coming. He brought a new life to control that life which was dead because of the sin of nature. So Christ is a new life in you. Let me tell you, this is NIV. It is sown in a natural body. It was less a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. 45. It is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam, a life-giving spirit. Take note of that one. The first man, Adam, became a living being. The second man, or the last man, Adam, a life-giving spirit. 46. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural. And after that, the spiritual. Let me repeat 46. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural. And after that, the spiritual. The first man was of the dust of the earth. The second man is of heaven. As was the earthly man, so are those who are of the earth. And as he, the earthly, I mean the heavenly man, so also those who are of heaven. 49. And just as we were born of the image of the earthly man, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man. 50. I declare to you, brothers and sisters, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Or does the perishable inherit the imperishable? Praise the Lord. I'll be very brief, but let me share what is important to you and me. It was soon a natural body and it was raised a spiritual body. If there is a natural body, there is also a spiritual body. It's like we are calling to nature. <coughs> Praise the Lord. We are calling what? The flesh and the spiritual. You are two in one. This is what I'm getting from the word of God. We are two in one. If there is a spiritual, I mean, a natural body, there must be a spiritual what? Body. And these two must be together. If one is missing, then the life is not completely. If you miss the spiritual body, you are living a sin of what? Life. In fact, let me just say, you are a sinner. You don't know what you are doing. You don't know the life that you are living. Because a natural body has got no direction. A natural body has no what? Direction. It's a blind life. But with a spiritual body, together, 
there's a direction. Because the flesh cannot see. I mean, the natural body cannot see or discern. But a spiritual body can see and discern. I hope and trust the Spirit of God will help me to, to interpret these words to the level of your understanding. If one is missing, your life is not completely. At first, there was a natural body that was Adam before Christ. And Adam could not, you know, stand, you know, the pressure of this world. Because he was a natural man. He could not resist that pressure or the temptation because he was a natural man. Anything in the flesh belongs to this world. Are you there? The first man was Adam. That is the natural body. The second man or the last man is Christ, the hope of life. A spiritual man who understands life both spiritually and physically. Who can resist any temptation or trials. There is no shortcut in him. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Verse 45. It is written, the first man, Adam, became a living being. Became a living being by what? Through the being which God Almighty put inside that natural body. Not the spirit. Just life. A being. He became a, a, a living being. Now, listen to this one. The last man. The last man, Adam, a life-giving spirit. Simply means Jesus came by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was not a natural man, but a spiritual what? Man. To give life to the natural man. The natural man is someone who is living according to the standard of this world or according to your senses. That is natural man. Who doesn't understand what is good and what is bad? Whatever comes, you go for that one. Anything that comes along the way, you follow that way. But a spiritual man is always being led by the spirit inside him. There is no way he can take any action without the involvement of the Holy Spirit. That's why I was saying Christ in you is a new life in you. Christ in what? In me is a new life in me. Listen to this. The spiritual did not come first, but the natural. And after that, the spiritual. So the one who came first is a natural man. A man who depends on food by eating what? Food to survive. A man who relies so much on food for him to have enough strength. But there comes a man who doesn't, you know, depend on these uh, material things. Even without food, this man will be strong. That is Jesus Christ. What does it mean to you and me? Simply means you can live a long life not because of you balance your diet, or maybe because you are a rich man, or you are educated, but because of Christ in you, the hope of life. The natural man will not give you a long life. Or let me say, you cannot give yourself a long life. Because you are a human being with flesh and blood. Once the being is removed from you, 
you are a dead person. What made Jesus to come back to life again after his death? Do you understand that process? As the man of God said, death to a child of God is not the end of your life. It's just a coma. It's like you are sleeping. Because spiritually, you are still, you know, breathing, breathing. Breathing in and out, in and out. There you can give life even to the dead body. Because you are a spiritual man. And you wear a natural what? Body. You cannot kill the spirit. You can kill the flesh. I will not conclude this message. I want to talk more about this one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Listen to this. That is 47. The first man was Adam. I mean, the first man was of the dust of the earth. The first man did not come from there. He came from the soil. That is natural. flat. Flat. But there comes a man fully charged with the Holy Spirit. This is the man. Listen to this one. The second man is of heaven. The second man came from in heaven. You can't find anything that is natural there. Everything there is spiritual. So he came as a spirit in form of a man in order for him to fit in in the society so that you can accept him but he was not a natural man but a spiritual man to give life to this natural body if you are living that life without a spiritual man inside you you are a dead person Satan can put anything inside. You are like a cupboard. You are like what? A cupboard. As was the earthly man, so are those who are of the earth. So there are people even today who are still living the life of Adam. Who are living a natural, who doesn't believe that you are no longer a natural man, but a spiritual man because of Christ. Yes, why is I if you don't know? If you become a believer, you are two in one. It's not me, it's the Bible. Ngakuti kwawa muntu wa pachalo, kwa ribana abantu wa pachalo, waba konko muntu wa pisa, pachalo. Ngakuti kwa bo wa kumuluisie in 48. Kwa libana abantu aba konko wa kumulu meaning aba kwa tompashu wa kwe. Yes te tiendele mumuntu sha kwa tompashu wa kwa lesa. It's a lie. There's no communication. For you to understand him and for him to understand you it is through his spirit. The first man came. He came from where? From the dust. The second man came. He came from where? From heaven. To do what? To perfect the weakness of this flesh. Some of you, you don't know that inside you, evil spirits are there. Demons are there. If the spirit of God is there, the place where the spirit of God is supposed to occupy is where the demon is sitting. You are living a natural what? Life. Are you there? You are living what? A natural what? Life. A natural body is a cupboard of problems. A spiritual body is a shield of your destiny. Even where you are sleeping, you cover yourself, more especially this time because it's very cold. 
Your spiritual life is at work 24-7. What made Adam to fall is because he was a natural man. God gave them these rules and regulations to follow outside his life. There was nothing like the spirit of God was inside Adam. No. He was just given this. Follow this. You can eat from any tree, but for this one, don't. A natural man? Anything outside is powerless. The one inside you is more powerful. So this is why Adam could not, you know, resist the devil. Because he was a natural man. Even you as a believer, as a pastor, my brother, you cannot save Jesus without his spirit. It's a lie. No one knows what you are doing behind the pulpit. Not until you allow Christ to be part of you. He came to perfect this life so that you can resist any temptation. Anything that can lead to sin, it is only Jesus who can say, no. This body, we have heard people, you know, sleeping with young girls, impregnating their own family members. Where is your senses if you say you are wise enough? You cannot resist what is natural as long as you are a natural person. It is only the spirit who can say, no, this is rubbish. You are the temple of the Holy Spirit. This is why Christ came. Before Christ, this body was just nothing. You can pretend to be a child as long as you are a natural person. You belong to this life. You belong to the activities of this world. Not until you allow a spiritual man, a life-giving spirit, to be part of your life. There you understand life, both spiritually and physically. So Christ in you is a new life. Tell your neighbor, Christ in you is a new life. Say it again. Yes. Christ in you is a new life. That is after. Before anyone can live according to what you feel, this is the way to go about. This is the way to live. You can make any decision according to your feelings. Because you are a natural person. You live according to what you see and hear. But a spiritual man will not live the way you live. It's a spiritual person. You need to hear from above before you do anything. Who is part of your life? As long as Jesus is not part of your life, you are still living the life of Adam even today. You can pretend, you know, to the highest of the people that you are a child of God, but you know what you are doing as a natural person. Christ in you is a new life. He came to give life, a perfect life, a life of understanding. Not where, you know, after you commit everything, then you say, Father, have mercy on me. Uh, I'm a sinner. Where is Christ in you? Who came to give, you know, that life? There are more I need to share with you, but... I'm believing God that. Uh, verse 49. And just as we have borne the image of the earthly man, so shall we bear the image of the heavenly man. You look like your father, your biological what? Father. There's nothing wrong. Anyone can identify you to say, this is the son of Mlenga. This is the daughter of Mlenga. Through your appearance, 
that is physically what about spiritually Satan now will identify you as the son of who or the daughter of who if he can't see the image of Jesus in you you are in trouble if you can resemble your father or your mom physically then you must resemble Jesus spiritually because you are carrying two nature a spiritual nature is the one sustaining you is the one giving you life protecting your organs protecting your system this body cannot protect on its own it's a blind life but a spiritual being is the one which protects this flesh that's where the problem is if you say you are a child of God you are a pastor you are a bishop you are a reverend it is not through these eyes it is Christ in you two in one is Bible there's no question how come I want to be to Babir it is Bible Christ must be part of your life because you are no longer a natural person but a spiritual person who is living like Christ listen to this this is 50 I declare to you brothers and sisters that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God or does the perishable inherit the imperishable make no mistake you will not enter the kingdom of God with this flesh this is why the Spirit of God has come to carry the being which God put inside the flesh at the end of your journey you cannot go to heaven like this no it is that being God put inside the flesh the Spirit of God is there working together advising that being inside to say don't follow this way I have come to guide you to collect you so that at the end of the day you will not be captured by this foolish man Satan flesh and blood cannot enter the kingdom of God or can the perishable inherit the imperishable impossible Ted Fiwombe Ted I can't hear you mm. so don't be deceived just because people who conduct the service for you the time of your burial they will sing songs what and what they are just you not know, doing that as a ceremony this is what we know that is the only thing people know is to celebrate when what and what what and what if you are not going to be able I hear people very much for Chakwa Hablam. Not you for a breath. Mkwaya Babe and Avalifa Pach for Chakwa Hablam. How do you know? Even you who is talking, you are a blind person. He came to give life to this body, which is lifeless. This is why you see a lot of sickness are inside our system. Because you cannot resist the devil. When you are sleeping, it's like you are half dead. And your enemy will come inside whatever they want to put inside you. When you wake up, ah. Hmm. Let me take you to, uh, because of time, please follow me to this book of uh, Philippians. I'm looking at time. Philippians chapter 3, verse 18. For as I have often told you before and now, let me read this again. Before and now tell you again, even with tears, many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Because of what? Verse 19. Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach. And their glory 
is in shame. Their minds is set on earthly things. I will repeat this. For I have told you, I mean often I've told you, before and now tell you again, even with tears, many lives as enemies of the cross of Christ. How? Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Because we thought by sustaining this stomach, by eating good food, okay, eat food every day. Continue eating food. Living long here on earth, it doesn't mean that you are a child of God. If you read the Bible, Enoch spent how many days here on earth? 300 and something days. I mean, yes. Adam, who have been weak, 900 plus. And he was taken. At that particular time, their, their, their generation, 900 plus or 800, only Enoch was taken at the age of 300 and something. Yes. He was taken. This is a righteous man. I've been telling you this. There is life after this life. We are more of this stomach. This stomach is your enemy if you don't know. This body can work against you. This body can mislead you. Is here. Are you listening to this one? Many live as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their mind is set on earthly things. We are more of material things here on earth. The long life is in Christ. Hmm? Long life is where? Look at the way we are busy building houses, educating our children. What can you buy with money? Tell me. Can you buy salvation? But why are we committing our quality time to material things. Then we spend a few minutes inside the church and we are complaining. There are people who are, right now they are disabled because of money. There are people who are limping. There are people who are sick because of what? Money. And no one is complaining. We spend quality time for money or education. Have you ever heard anyone complaining that my son is praying too much and each time we praise, we see the glory of God, but this is not good. I mean, I mean appreciating that this is good. No. But you want to know that I'm a B plus. You feel good. Hmm. I like this statement. Many lives as enemy of the cross. Their destiny is destruction. Their God is their stomach. There's nothing that you can do with your money apart from buying food. Is it not food? Mwana mwana kwa mtu na kwa ta ete kipamula no kwa tumpashi na wisi uwa kwa lesa. Animba bona ke nomba ndeo mfuwa. But it, you know you are broke. Himi ya uwa nikauntebo. Hmm. Why are you worried? Because your stomach is your God. Destruction is your destiny. You are not thinking about your destiny there in heaven. Your mind is here on earth. What does it mean? Simply means you are still living the life of Adam. You are not living the life of Christ. Who came to perfect your life? Adam was a natural man. Christ, a spiritual man who did not depend on material things. 
Na mfeli ya lipano pachalo muministri hakuwe. Shata la mfuwa pati. Jesus said he shia nyati. Ifi hakuwa mshata tukwete. Avanti taba lepela. No. He was a spiritual man. What does it mean? Anything that you see physically come from the spirit. You can command anything. Because God owns every man's heart. So your stomach is your God. You are a natural man. Christ in you is a new life. Christ where? A new. Is what? A new life. Hmm? Uh -huh, yes. Christ in you is a new life. As long as Jesus is not part of your life, you are a natural person. You live according to your senses. You are not sensitive enough. There is no life in you. You are just a being. One day, you go down and go back to the soil. But a spiritual man who came, listen to this, Adam came from the soil. A spiritual man came from heaven. To do what? In order for a being not to go to the soil, but to go back to the father where that man came from. Simply means, Ngata mkwete yesu muli imwe, life yenu, tayaba kukulia. What have you done for Christ from the time that you came to this life? What have you done to him? You are more of your marriage, more of your wife or your husband, your children. You are neglecting the life of Christ which is perfect life. The life that can see beyond sickness and disease. The life that can see beyond poverty, limitation, rejection. Christ can, you know, interpret every situation to you to say, don't worry my son, don't worry my daughter. There's hope for you. The book of John 6, verse 3, the Bible says that it is the spirit that gives life. This flesh counts for what? Nothing. Those who, who need salvation. But we are not ready to, you know, to be saved. We want to develop this world. We want to do what? You want to make a name. You want to count what? There's nothing wrong. But don't forget that. Christ in you is a new life in you. Those who are condemning you, reminding you about the past, they are just wasting their time. Because of Christ, you are no longer a failure. Because of Christ, you are no longer part of the family limitation or poverty. Because the man Jesus doesn't know how to fail. Because Christ in you Ah, Listen, no quenda emon and the la. No kushana emon shanina. Whatever you are, sometimes you have a tulation and a shai karipa. Yenamuna tulation in a movie. Kashuri mumpash. 
no kushana emonsha nina ena ngaya ikata ukayevela aisa kuselo wapa na chilasha nina tapari chala sangapu ba yesu muya ya ya muya ya muya ya muya no kumeka emon mekela muya ya muya ya muya Eno penda e monje bulayo Eno penda e monje bulayo Eno penda e monje bulayo 